Hello world, in the third video of this Pi Game playlist where we're building a corporate CEO simulation game, we're going to use the Shelv library to save and load game data. So let's check it out. But first, welcome to the 121st video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Now, this game doesn't really have anything to do with my digital assistant, but it's going to help me with my coding skills. And the premise of this game is that I'm going to use real world data to influence the actions of this game. And so maybe the data I collect will be used for my digital assistant. But let's check it, let's really check it out now. So first we're going to uh, start the game. Now this is the third video so make sure you've watched my previous videos so this will make sense. But we're going to start the game and in the previous video that you can watch by clicking here we did this new CEO button where this button is interactive and before the load CEO button just printed to the console. But now if we go to load CEO it takes us to a new page where it says there's no CEO name saved and there's no career choice saved. Okay? But we do have an interactive button here that doesn't do anything. So, as you can see, there's no CEO name and there's no career choice saved. So, um, if we go here and we start the game again, we go to new CEO. And in the previous video, we went over this. So let's go ahead and enter our name, uh, Voltron. That's my name. All right, and let's choose a career. Um, let's go with an investment company here. And now when we pressed the, um, when we got into the screen, notice to the uh, left here that these save data files came and that shelf working in the background. So I opened a save data database basically and it opened up these three files for you. So now let's click start your day. Okay, hello Voltron. It's a great day to be an investment company CEO. Alright, so that's as far as I programmed the very first screen. Um, this will change depending on the time of day, what day it is, etc. Okay, so let's exit out of that and um, let's say we played the game, we quit and now we want to play it again. So let's go to start the game and now let's go to load CEO and there we go. Now the name is Voltron. We picked investment company CEO. So let's pick that one. Now the text goes white and there's a rectangle around it and now let's start our day. There you go. Hello Voltron. It's a great day to be an investment company CEO, which is the same place that the new game took us. So now we have um, got the divergent screens together and that is my progress so far. So there's quite a bit of details that I kind of glossed over and user, user handling events that I still need to program, but I think this is a great start. Now, uh, now let's run through the code. But we'll only be going over the new code, uh, so make sure you watch this whole playlist and I'll leave a link in the description so you can keep up to date. So let's go to the top. Uh, first we're going to import Shelv. Now this is part of the standard library so you don't need to pip install it. And then um, I'm going to create a database and the variable is going to be called save data. And I put that in all caps because I think the standard practice is uh, functions that are uh, global, if you will, without calling them global, should be in caps. I haven't really done that throughout yet, but I'm going to start. Uh, equals shelve.open. So if you look in tutorials, people usually just do S. S, the letter S equals shelve.open. And then you call your database whatever you want. Save data. All right, in a string. So just remember you're going to, depending on your application, you're going to be using this variable quite a lot. So that's why people like to do the first letter. So just S is equals shelf dot open save data. So no changes to the create button or the start menu. So I'm going to gloss over that. 
the game menu, the only thing we have changed is um, if you go press new CEO button, it takes you to new game just like before. But now if you press the load CEO button, you go to what I call the load screen. And we're going to go over that um, uh, now. So new game takes you to the new game. Load screen takes you to the load screen. Okay, no changes here. Now in our new game, the changes we have made is, oh wait, I'm sorry. We have made, oh yeah, we have created a submit button. So start your day, then we're going to use big font, because right now I have two fonts loaded, dot render, start your day, it's going to be blackish because the rectangle around it is going to uh, light up when I click it, because that's how it's interactive, and we covered that in the first and second video. And then all the way at the bottom, nothing changed in the logic of our career choice and username. But now that we create a submit button and we use our create, bu create button function we started in the first video. And then we draw the, the text of start your day. And then if submit button, so in this create but function, create button function, um, it returns true or false. So if you are anywhere near the button, then it will be active or it will be true so if the submit button is true and if the new username does not equal blank right so that's the first error handling i did so let's see that in action so if the username is not blank so let's check that out what i'm talking about so start the game new ceo and let's click start your day we selected nothing right it says need to program a user warning so it says hello blank it's a great day to be a blank so what i need to do is not let the person go forward okay and now let's enter data and watch that again so we make that active so uh Power Ranger. Okay, let's pick something. All right, hello, Power Ranger. It's a great day to be an investment company CEO. So what we do is we assign a variable called the username equals new username. And this is how you use Shelve. So you're going to call your save data, which is your database over here. And it's open already because we declared it as shelve.open. Then you're going to pass it this key called username. And the value you're passing to the key is going to be the username. So when I type in Voltron, I'm saving this username to this database right here, the save data. So then what I should have done was put the first screen here, but I didn't. Um, else, so basically if the username is blank, because this means is not, if the username is blank, then right here I put need to program a user warning. So what I need to say is um, please enter a username. Then the career choice you get when you select on a button. So if we push the uh, mouse button down on the regions border, which we covered in the previous video, this regions active will become true. If that regions active is true, then the career choice will be investment company CEO. If the petro active, which is the picture in the middle, is true, meaning you clicked on it, then the career choice will be oil and gas CEO. And then if the bear tower is true, which is the real estate, then you will be a real estate CEO. And we save whatever career choice was selected into the database using this key career choice and the value will be career choice then we close the database so save data dot close and now if these weren't already here then uh, it will create them for you and if they are already here it will overwrite the data so what I need to do is say create logic that says um, 
what we're going to do is append to this. Right now we're just adding it directly for this first video where I introduce shelf. Next we're going to append to the list, right? And we'll append the career choice. So we can have five different games and I'm going to need to do that to test all three career choices. But for now, we just write over the data that's in there by selecting this key right here. Then we close the database and we go into this first screen by passing this username here and the career choice that we selected, right? Because we don't need to load that data um, when we go to the first screen. So we use this username and career choice to say, hello, username. It's a great day to be a career choice. And that's all I programmed for that very first screen. Now, when we're in the load screen, we're going to do something similar, but we're going to open the database just while we're in this again. So save data equals shelve.open. And what we're opening is this, the save data database. Notice how you don't have to put a, uh, a um, extension on there. So you just have to put save data. And then now we're going to put it in a try and accept. So try to you get a username from this right here, this database. Try to get a career choice from this value, this key right here. If you can't, you'll get a key error, right? There is no username and there's no career choice. Then it will just say no CEO name saved and no career choice saved. And we saw that in the very first part of the screen. Then we're going to close the database. Now again, when I have multiple profiles, this will be a try and accept and then a for loop. So for uh, profiles in save data, username, save data, career choice equal. And then we'll just uh, keep, like if there's five profiles in here, we'll have five profiles. Then we're going to say, we're going to start off with the profile active equals false, right? No profile is false. Uh, then we're going to have that start your day, which is the same as the start your day button from the new game, which is our submit button. Then we're going to create a profile border. And these are hard coded values because we, I only plan to show you one um, profile. Once these are, um, I have multiple profiles, these will be dynamic, meaning they will change to how many profiles. Then this is the same in every single screen, uh, black background, which is 0, 0, 0.000. And then we're going to put that corporate CEO at the very top. I like that. And then if you push down on the profile border, which is what we, we drew a rectangle and I covered rectangles in the previous video. If you click on it, the profile active is now true. Else, so as if you're clicking anywhere else or you haven't clicked yet, it will be false. So if the profile active is true, which means we clicked on it with the mouse button down, then we're going to render this font called welcome name and we're passing it the username and it will be white. Same with the career choice. And we'll draw the rectangle to be white. Else, so the profile active is false, then the username and career, whether it's the officially saved name or if it says no CEO named, it will be slate gray, so that faded gray you saw. And then the rectangle will still be there, but it will be black, so you won't be able to see it. Then we draw the welcome name we draw the welcome career, which now has our saved data in there. And then we draw the submit button and the start your day words, just like you saw in the previous one. And if the, the user presses submit button, it will pass the first screen. We'll go back to the first screen and it will pass that username and career choice, just like we did in the new game. So the new game has this exact code here except this one doesn't have any logic to detect. And so what I would like to do is say, if the username equals no CEO saved or no career choice saved, then don't let the user go to the first screen. Okay. And that's how you use shelve. So this is a pretty complicated context to use shelve, 
but nonetheless it's a real world example versus some of the tutorials that are just esoteric in nature. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I have updated the GitHub repository and the link to the GitHub is in the description. Leave a comment if you're building a game yourself using Pygame or anything you want me to watch, especially if it's a YouTube channel about it. And uh, really, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it and please subscribe if you want to see me build my own digital assistant or continue building this Pygame or and building this Pygame. Goodbye, world.